Hey everyone, this is Dusk Omakas That Gamer, and this is The Evil Within. The Consequence literally just came out, so we're gonna play it. Of course, I'm on the actual Evil Within main menu. Again, this is now like two months after the assignment. There you go, The Consequence. The Consequence downloadable content is now playable. Thank you for letting me know. I should actually almost forgot to turn the lights off. How could I play The Evil Within with forgetting to turn off the lights? So anyways, it's been a while since I played it. I'm gonna warn, I might be a little bit rusty, and I'm saying that on the very note that I haven't done the gunplay in Evil Within since last November. It's currently April, so that's been like over half a year ago, and I blind fire in this game. I don't like having the UI on if I can. Turn that HUD off is what I say. But that means that probably at the very beginning I'm gonna be missing shots, I'm gonna be doing terribly. Part of the fun. I'm ready to enjoy it though, I'm excited about this. I'm just giving the heads up. If if I start off and I'm playing absolutely terribly, I'm kind of explaining the most likely reason why. Anyways, the evil within the consequence. Let's get ourselves all set up for this. It has basically the it has about the same main menu as the last DLC, except instead of being yellow, it's now red. Let me first go to my options, because I recall the game had different options. Uh, let's see, tutorials, hide, enemy indicators, survival, hide. Interaction icon, show, target reticle, hide. No, I actually kept most of my settings. Uh, graphics, brightness is fine. So the same brightness I've always had. Display area, hardware settings. Uh, yeah, but all looks about the same as I had it. Let's get ready then immediately for the evil within the consequence. Adjust the brightness, looks fine to me. Let's go. Would you like to import acquired or archive entries from the assignment, import personal files, research documents, and complete torn letters come from all saved files in your profile? Sure. Import and archive. Import entries can be viewed in the archive via the pause menu. Good to know. Let's do this! Do your past secrets haunt you? Do you wish to tell them, but something holds you back? Come back, kid. You have a job to do. No! Stop! Get away from me! Stop running! <laughs> Is it over? I'm back? <gasps> Agent Kidman? <sighs> Chapter 3, Illusion. So continuing directly where we last left off. That's a creepy picture. I think it's from it was in the main game too. I'm gonna take a little bit to get back into the game. And I'll start looking around. Someone left us a shit. Stop knocking. Someone left us a shit ton of teddy bears. Actually, are those cats? They're cat -a bears, or teddy cats. You can't actually open anything, but you know, I'm, it's me now. Of course, being me, this is gonna be like on YouTube part. I don't know, 42 of the let's play. But I'm gonna rectify and say this again. We like to take our time and explore with this. I'm gonna take my time and kind of look at things as things go forward and on. If I think I have a chance, I can duck. Sneak up and see what they have outside for us. There's some, there was actually hidden collectibles I wasn't aware was in the DLC when I played. There were snails that you could shine your flight on. I saw one of them, but I didn't know you could shine your light on it. No, no. Where was this place? Are we in the asylum? You know, the first DLC didn't actually visit the asylum. It's been a while since I've been to the asylum, so I'm being hit by sort of a nostalgic thing. There is a keeper safe right behind us at the very beginning. Let me examine that. Is this a puzzle? Looks like a fucking combination. Uh, I don't know the answer to this combination yet, so we have to come back to it. Now, if it's anything like the first DLC, the numbers are probably hidden around, and my light can reveal some of them. Probably in the nearby cell rooms, I'd imagine. Actually, let me look around here. Is this what I think it is? Give me a moment. It's the fucking save room. The thing that fucking Sebastian visits all the time. And look, there. yeah, there's the nurse and everything. So wait, I, okay. Does that mean Kidman was the person inside this room? 
Okay, okay, give me a moment, give me a moment. Because I kind of thought this was just Sebastian going crazy, and this was his personal whatever, but why is Kidman in here then? Let's take a glance around. We can't open either of these rooms. I'm not going to look at that mirror at the end of the hallway either. And this is literally the save room. Can we go inside the Sebastian's rooms? 071? No, none of the rooms are openable. This is, I guess we'll say hi to the nurse. Are Spin. we awake? Hey, you. What's going on? Where is this place? I'm afraid I cannot answer that. Are you kidding me? Ugh, waste of time. I like how it looks kind of like a smiley face. Well, it's ruined, so we're not going to be able to do much with it. This is definitely, of course, the gold save room. We don't have any upgrade gels, so... What will the electric chair even do? have that boy. He will enable us to change everything. I'll come back with him. I needn't remind you the consequences for failure. I know. But if Ruvik leaves with him, there must be some way to stop him. Probably. So is there a hint to open up that combination hidden around here? Looks like we're triggering memories as a reminder of where we are and where we're coming from. But my first actual objective for myself is see if I can find clues to open up that safe head. I don't want to move forward until I feel like I can actually open up the safe head and get whatever is inside. Maybe a letter piece, maybe something else. Back here will open though. And it's incredibly dark. And Claire de Lune, because that wasn't actually in the last DLC either. Ha! <laughs> it's shaped like the fucking... It's a tear that's shaped like the thing that you put in someone's eye. I always forget what that's called, I know what it is. Claire de Lune? Show us your magical tube. Blood, of course. I'll go to you in a moment. I'll look back here... Any clues for a combination lock? It's missing all the map pieces I collected. But I collected all the map pieces. I never showed this in the actual Let's Play, but I actually got all the map pieces. Basically the day after the game had come out, or it was two days after the game came out, I went out of my way, collected all the pieces, but you got was a few extra weapons. Uh, there was a new type of handgun, a new type of shotgun, that sort of thing. I don't think I ever actually showed that in the Let's Play though. Let me look up there. Glance, no? Well, let's see what's back here. Oh, it's our kitty cat. <laughs> They're combined the save areas. I get it. I get it. Oh. I didn't even fucking notice that the light lady was sitting right there. That was my own fault. Uh, let's see. Well, the kitty disappeared. Unfortunately. Is there anything else back here? There has to be a clue to that fucking combination somewhere. The blood trail goes back on through there. There's like a big old jacket covering the way. Poor kid. Society is wounded. People are suffering. Hopeless. Just as you were. Before we saved you. Mobius can now do the same for everyone. STEM is a machine designed to connect everyone's subconscious. And whoever is at the center has the power to influence them. There couldn't be a better tool to change the world, to lead. Society needs a curator, and Mobius will be just that, ushering in the next step of humanity. Well, that is definitely triggering on the bunch. I am not finding any clues for this fucking safe puzzle. I want to open it before I get out of here, so I'm like, uh, yeah. Have any clues, Missy? Can we talk? You were moaning in your sleep. Have a bad dream? Why are you paying attention to me moaning in my sleep? Uh, safe combination, safe combination. Not right on the walls. I'm like so determined to try and find a safe combination before I get out of here. It looks like we need to look for a little bit more before we can even get out of here, but is there like a clue somewhere? Is there like a newspaper that writes down? Let me look around here. Oh. I think I see where I'm supposed to be going. I know you're out there. 
That's him. It's been a while since I've heard that guy. So, there is a safe here with a three combination. You know what? Actually, let me go out for a second. Oh, <laughs> it was fucking right there. 20, 1, 2. Fucking A. I feel like an idiot. 20, 1. Oh, it moves everything. Uh, 20. There we go. It's always the most obvious thing you overlook. It's always it's something like that. Peace. I know it's one of the Lara scraps. I almost got all the Lara scraps in the first DLC, but I did, never quite did it. Anyways, this guy, he's the one that talked to us a lot of Sebastian in the main game. Let's see what he has in store for us now. Do you have any idea why this world is the way it is? Hate. Hate. Ruvik's hate. The man's consumed by it. He wants out. Wants to get his revenge. He wants back what he feels the world took from him. Who's that? How does he know about Ruvik? Well, he, that was the exact same dialogue from the main game. Nothing inside that mirror. Oh, multiple rooms have decided to light up. Light their fires, cowboy. And then in here... Pick up. Despite our powerful benefactors, with this much collateral damage, it's only a matter of time before people start to take notice. KCPD has been dropping by a female officer. I don't remember her name. Regardless, the police are not something I should be involved with. Mobius says they will take care of it and make an effort to ensure KCPD leave us alone. Then there is the reporter from the Crimson Post, Ivan. Something or other, he has become a personal annoyance. He barely qualifies as a tabloid journalist, writing cover stories about tales of church sacrifices and other nonsense. But now he's being persistent about the missing patient's claim. I'll be damned if he is the man who brings Beacon down. It seems that Reuben could be useful for other forms of problem solving. Perhaps I can interest this reporter in an exclusive interview. Okay, Jimenez having your fun time. Anyways. Jimenez having his good old fun time, says Jimenez usually does. You're, you were Leslie's cell, so now I know who all these cells I guess belong to. Kidman's cell... Sebastian Cell, whoever the fuck that guy is Cell, and Leslie Cell. Let's see what's up with Leslie Cell. Leslie! If I'm still here, then he must be too. It's definitely what probably is gonna happen. There's our sunflower picture. Sunflower? Sunflower. Jeez, you can hardly see if you know your light on in this particular sequence. Now, Sebastian Cell. Are we actually going to see him laying there? I'm sort of hopeful, but we'll find out. Too bad they dragged you into this. But either way, you're mine. To do with as I please. That was from the main camp. Sebastian. Thing. He must be somewhere else right now. Damn it, he doesn't have anything to do with this. He's a good man. A good man. I don't know why. Sometimes she makes me think of the fucking cop from, you know, Silent Hill Downpour. I think maybe their voices are kind of similar. I don't think it's actually the same voice or actress, but just a little bit. Similar. They don't really act alike too much. It's just that they're both cops. And anyways. Guess there's nothing else here for anybody. I, I bet the door's open now, though. Have you revealed yourself, door? Yep. yep, it's reformed itself. We can get out of here in a second, but first... Where are you going? I'm gonna follow her for a second. You should find this useful. Mobius. Something is pulling me back there.
she still confuses me. In the full game, in the rain game, we find out that she disappeared a long time ago. So why is she here and what's her background? She's probably one of the more mysterious characters in the game. She also kind of looks like Lisa. Like she's wearing a similar outfit to Lisa from fucking Silent Hill 1, but... Door opening I go. This looks like a black abyss to me. While it is theoretically possible for a host to overwrite themselves on a user, the odds of compatibility are astronomical. But the boy, Leslie, you're saying he's a compatible subject. Yes, and based on Ruben's notes, the stem should be able to run with Leslie as its source. I need you to do tests. Determine what must be done to make him the blank slate we need. They knew. They knew what Leslie was capable of. Damn it, why would they hide that from me? They have a lot of reasons to hide stuff from you, but where are you pulling this in from? I guess Jimenez is inside the system, so we're probably saying memories of Jimenez. Look at these fucking SD TVs. No wonder they were all thrown away in the dump on top of each other. No one wants SD these days. Out of here. I see things switching around me again. Oh, we're back in the headquarters. That room looked completely different. Did you see that? It's like had a table on it. There was definitely not a table in there before. Well, we're back inside Mobius base. Hello, knocked over plants doing knocked over plant things and newspapers leading me somewhere or another. Seems a bit darker than it was before, actually. I forgot why the melee button. I was just checking it. I'm going to look through some of these nooks and crannies, though what definitely attracts the attention is the light in the center there. We'll get to you. I'm glancing. The atmosphere of the game is starting to settle in a little bit stronger. Oh. We had a stem terminal here, on the lowest floor. If Leslie's in here with me, he's probably headed there. And that may be my way out of here. Well, then we'll get to work. There's definitely a door there, but I'll look at you in a little bit. I'm not gonna make the door reveal itself yet, I wanna look around first. That is very reminiscent of Resident Evil 4. It looks like the fucking Lost Plagueis, on top of the fact that it looks like something bursting out of a head or something. Especially the head right next to it. I'm not sure if that's a direct Resident Evil 4 reference or something, but that definitely reminds of Resident Evil 4. There's a lot of pictures of the brain here. Here's some sort of brain development cycle shots. Intestinal track. All my exploration is going to get the best of me. This is just a printer area. Is there anything back here in one of the side hidden corners of the world? Nothing on this side. We can see the giant tube baby over there, whatever. I mean, I guess that's the power source. Looks like a life. It looks like the light lady's light, kind of. Doesn't it? Just a little bit. Hmm. Reading into potential symbolism, or am I just insane? <laughs> In a crazy, crazed world. Alright, let's reveal the door. Ta da! Doors are magic. Resident Evil 4 and 5 both had Lost Plagueis, but the Resident Evil 4 is the one that mainly showed off what the Plagueis looked like. Like, the actual default Plaga that gets injected into people. That's what that kind of looked like. Hmm. Invisible enemies? But no, the invisible enemies get revealed in your flashlight, so if there were invisible enemies, that would have revealed them. I can't Our get through with the power out. I've got to get things running again. Well, that's one responsibility. Generator room. Enter cover. Okay, we're going back inside stealth mode. I forgot you turn off your flashlight. It's not that button. It's just F. I should have fucking figured. If I need to turn the lights off, I'll know. Somewhere in the dark. Hmm. Nothing really in the men or women's restroom. Taking cover doesn't seem like the best deal. Yeah, I don't see anything back there. That looked like a regular haunted, though, so... 
Eating regular haunted. That's what they do. Warning danger generator room. Marked going this way. I'll turn off my light when I think I need to. I'm realizing that I don't have any matches. Also, why do I have my detector symbol on? The fact that there was a detection symbol makes me think that there's something that could detect me. Now this is where I came from. So that was just me going a big loop-de-loop -loop being confused. Let's go investigate a little bit closer. I'm going to be taking this kind of slowly because I also want to look around and make sure I'm seeing everything. Or at least all I can see in the first one. Let's see. Is that anything to read? No, it's just a regular old document over there on Documentsville. People read the newspaper with their toast, I guess, if that's what they eat around here. That's like the most generator room looking door I could ever even really have imagined. It looks like such a cliche generator room door. I don't even know what to say. Doesn't that just scream, there's a generator in here? Well, let's open. We got this. That's gonna close right past us. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I've lost my ability to anything. Barely see anything in here. I think you can barely see anything. <sighs> okay. Into the fucking dark we go. How do we see? Even I don't know. <laughs> here is dark in here. Let's follow the light. Guide me, lights. Guide me. Do I hop down? I can follow cover. See when I stop. I stopped here. Does that mean there's something here? There's like a light over there. I think there's bars blocking both these ways. I think it's over here we're going. Let me take cover. Oh, look at this corner right there. Yeah, taking cover is going to be my one saving grace here. Sneaking through. Sneaking through the darkness. Where's the end of this area? Feeling around walls is not the most fun activity, but it's what one must do. Because there's just a wall here, which means what's over here. Now we walk away from the goodness. Climb down. Found it. Jeez, it is dark. Oh, I see the single light source. On account I can't see, I'll take it. Turn side of the vents, which gives us the most light we've had so far. For coming from this lamp. If there's actually anything here. Is this just a hiding spot? I think this is just a hiding spot if I get caught. There's another light source over there, though. More than one vent. There's also stuff over here. Enter the same vent? No, thank you. I'll go this way inside this vent see if there's anything over here that looks kind of like a cage. So I've got hiding spots in case I get caught. But I don't got anything else. Okay, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Took a little bit of damage, but I'm okay. Grabbing enemies. That's where I came from, right? So I should use the light to guide me. Not that way. I should take cover whenever I see it. Because the cover can help guide me through dark corners. Right here. Sounds like there's an enemy walking there, but I guess there's a way to go over there, but. I don't know if I'm actually. If I'm out in the open or out in the darkness. This is some pretty dark cover. 
I feel like maybe it's because I have my brightness turned down. They're actually taking advantage of it, but maybe turning my brightness up wouldn't even really help. Maybe it would help, though, because I do have my brightness turned down, I'm pretty sure. Is this where I was? No, this isn't where I was. Where is this? Or maybe... No, no, this is not where I was. Oh, let me peek. Did not mean to crawl out. I'll enter. During darkness, you would lie like the ley light was here. Yeah, if the ley light was here, that would actually be somewhat helpful. Though she just creeped me out, so I'm kind of happy she's not. Alright, there's another... There's something over there, Avi. Oh, there's a cage. It would also help with the haunted... The haunted will glow when they catch me. Because it's those type of haunted. But it would be helpful if they were, like, glowing right now. So the cover is right here. It sounds like the enemy's super close, though. against I can I don't even I hardly know when I'm let me glance this way stumbling in the dark oh there's light over fucking it was more obvious than I gave it than I thought it was gonna be I'm guessing this is a single hide area yeah this is a hide area in case I get caught by enemies which means it's over here I need to go Aggravated, haunted, doing aggravated, haunted things. It's okay. Wait. It's okay. They can't see me. They don't know how to bend down. Go over. I could have probably booked it and made it. go inside the door. Is there more haunted in here? I don't know. Looks like you can go this way. Stumbling in the dark. I hit something. Guess I need to get a pretty far distance from the door. Okay, is there another path this way? No, it looks like there's a pathway through here. When I count on walking, there's another light coming up. More light. Guide me, light. Guide me in my time of darkest need. back out in a second. Let's find out. I'm going to crawl myself out. I bet I could turn the brightness up and see a little bit better than what I'm seeing. But at the same time, kind of challenging myself to tackle this as I'm tackling it. This looks like a good crawl under area. I crawl under and on to the next area. I'm at, even if there was a haunted right in front of me, unless Chrissy was like literally right, or she, it, was right in the way, I probably wouldn't spot it at this point. 
There's another sneaking area I just saw right there. Let me sneak through. This is one of the protecting sneak areas, so yeah. I, I mean, I guess technically I'm making it through. Maybe it's because I play enough horror games. I've gone, I've gone wandering through the dark before. Climb up. I'm on a ladder. I understand that. Sort of light to guide. Part of me is thinking I should turn my brightness up just for the sequence, but I, I'm making it, so I'm, a, I'm a fucking winner. No one can tell me I'm doing badly if I fuck this up, because as you can clearly see, I cannot see jack and shit. But I'm doing it. I'm making progress. I feel like I just walked right past the enemy. That's okay. Chemical lights. Better than nothing, I guess. I'm surprised they gave this so late. Like, really? This... Why can't I throw it? Alright. You'd think that they'd given this to us a lot sooner, actually, but I guess I made it to it, so whatever. Is there a way to turn it off? No. Uh, what's in the darkness? I don't know. Looking around. It looks like it goes this way. Somewhere in the dark, there's haunted waiting. I'm using this because I literally cannot see without it. I saw the way down over here a little bit ago. There it is. Now I put the light away. Is there a way for me to put it away and take it out? Enter. No. Alright, what's out here then? Well, there's blood. I think I've taken this route so far. Of course, it's just a fancy way to get where we were. Is there like a secret pathway here, or is it just blood that happened to be right there? This is where we were, which means the ladder. Eh, eh ladder. Is that a door? That's not a door. Just a kind of door like. Where's the ladder I was at earlier? Holy hell, I've gotten like so turned around I have no idea where I am. I must have been over here if it wasn't over there, right? To recover. Was this a complete this is a completely different area. This is a completely different vent. Yep, it's I think the vent to the next area. Where's this where I came from? I think I turned okay. Remember this area, right? Let me let me get a layout here. This is where I was. Over here was where this was. This was just the vent, right? The vent that just went to there. I mean, what was inside this vent? Is this not where I came from? No, this was just a safety area like the other one. Alright, so that's where I came from. And this is a safety vent. Up here. I'm not going to hide back. This is where the ladder was. There it is. Alright, so I think I have to go back and use this light to see something I couldn't see previously. Whatever that may turn out to be. There is the vent. I'm going to head back. Sounds like there's an enemy in here. It's probably going to see my light, but I'm going to crawl out. To be fair, it's an incredibly limited light, so maybe I'm lucky. Maybe I'm one of the lucky ones. <laughs> the thing is, like, I couldn't see the fucking haunted until it was really like two feet in front of me. Right over there. Is 
Honestly, the haunted aren't like the worst thing. And then in this crevice, that's where I stop. Yeah, crawl, 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 crawl. Thing is, the haunted don't seem to be able to see the light too well either, so there's that. Let the haunted pass, do his little haunted run. He's gonna be haunted for a while, so. Haunting down these. I go on out. I guess I'm going backwards, but for what purpose? He could be right in front of me, I wouldn't even know. Sounds like he's walking. This way at the meantime. I'm just following the cage door. There's a dead man here. Could be a woman. Could be anything. Could be a fucking dog. I couldn't tell in this uh, amount of brightness. Seems to be a pathway this way. But is this just a dead end? Alright. Follow the walls. Since I carry the light to my right, I should follow the right side wall. It's like a maze. If the maze was insanely dark and there were monsters in it. Maybe I'll find something. Checkpoint. Something I did. Oh! There's a door here! Little did I suspect. I think we found the generator room. No, I really should have seen that coming. There must be a way to get the power back on. So just follow the walls. <sighs> View. Cover. <sighs> okay. Inside the darkness, we find... I'm just following the walls. Please, wall, show me to my holy realm of where the generator is. I'll look at this area more thoroughly when we have the power back on. There's a, there's a, there's a light. Fuck! What the fuck? <laughs> I think I found a hole. <laughs>